Okay. Uh, in this video, I'm going to reveal you a very interesting tip secret uh, uh, on how to remember the naam uh, while sleeping or before sleeping and after waking up immediately. So, um, it's you will find that when you sleep on the back, uh, then uh, uh, you can you can do violation, you can chant Hari Nam, or you can sing, you know, murmur, uh, hum. Uh, and, but if you sleep on the left side, that's very good for digestion because your um, um, right nostril starts working but uh, uh, but that will make the uh, uh, violation the syllables hazy uh, it will make the syllables hazy uh, if you sleep uh, with your uh, uh, um, shoulder up uh, and your uh, this sh uh, left shoulder down but if you sleep uh, on the right side with your uh, right shoulder down and left shoulder up you will feel that it enhances visualization just before you're sleeping you even if you don't have to move your finger also lift it in the air but just uh, sleep on your right side and uh, because the left nostril starts working and the right brain starts working and the right brain uh, is more visualization the pineal gland is also there somewhere and the, the visualization uh, uh, is better with that hemisphere of your brain so you sleep on the right side I mean with your left sorry with your left shoulder up I mean and then you just remember if you have done enough violation throughout the day you can easily remember the not only the shapes but you can actually uh, remember actually the forms inside the shapes without even lifting your finger before you sleep and don't worry it will not block your sleep it will actually uh, put you to yoga nidra it will be very refreshing actually once uh, one very very beneficial effect of doing violation is that you get very very deep and sound sleep because sleep is ultimately related to the mind how you can cut off uh, you know like that's why mobile devices have the cut off times and health stats and they have this night light so you know for your mind and uh, so it, you need to prepare yours they say don't use any devices for the last two hours before you sleep so but why you can kind of bypasses all these things and because of that your mind is so much uh, into absorbed in the form uh, your mind is is free of all its um, turbulations and um, rumblings and and uh, your mind is like focused so uh, if you do violation with your finger, with sleeping on your back, and then go to the right side, um, just visualize and slowly fall asleep. You'll get very deep sleep, uh, you know, very sound sleep. It will be like you'll be fresh within a few hours. Of course, I'm not saying that you have to sleep only a few hours as per your capacity, but uh, uh, you will actually feel very very refreshed and you know sleep is the is necessary till we have a material body when it is replaced by touching nitai and by touching harinam with our tongue and by, uh, uh, touching the uh, the sound katha by our ears when our body is fully spiritualized then like the six goswamis we may need only um, two murutas like 48 into plus 48 one hour 36 minutes of sleep and we cannot artificially imitate actually in their time also uh, they are all siddhas and also the climate there and water everything was very pure and there was no um, radiations and no all those things so uh, but try this 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 violation will give you a very and there will be no no harmful dreams and uh, there will be beautiful dreams and uh, and uh, you will feel very refreshed very very refreshed when you get up and no 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 longer groggy and then after you get up also when the mind is fresh try to do it while you like for some time before engaging your mind in other things